everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing don't forget to like comment and share and subscribe to the channel if you like fishing and fishing contents in general then this is a channel for you today I wanted to take a quick minute to talk to you about the five things that you're gonna need when you are kayak fishing number one safety extremely important that you come back safe to your friends and family after catching all those fish out there on the water now for me one of the most important things I could take with me when I'm kayak fishing is my PDF now I like to take two different kind of take them at the same time but I like to fish with two different kind of this one right here is that has the co2 cartridge in there where if this is submerged it will deploy and this other is your stand Try to get them something a little netted because it's a little warm out here. I like the pockets as well. Typically, I'll wear this one during the winter time, or if I am surf fishing, or if I am taking my kayak out in the surf. One of the other things that I do take with me is flashlights. You know, a lot of times I like before I launch. A lot of times I launch before the sunrise, so it's always good to have a light with you. And sometimes you never know if you get stuck out there. One of the other things you want to make sure is that you have your phone fully charged, and just let the love your and just let a friend or loved one know where you're going. I always like to send somebody a pin drop, let them know when I'm on the water and when I expect to be come off, and then I text them again, message them again when I'm off the water. Another one is first aid. First aid is overlooked a lot. It's very important. Take myself a few bandages, a few band aids, and something to clean a cut or anything. I get out there on the water another is snacks um, you could take a cooler or a nice chest I typically take this this is half a gallon and comes in very handy fill with ice put some Gatorade in it bottles I always like to make sure I take a nice healthy snack and of course I always like to take some kind of fruit fruit cup my number one snack I always take with me is a payday or peanuts some type of peanuts peanut bar but payday is my go-to snack and then my 360 light like I said I will launch a lot of times before daybreak but I always take my 360 light because has a flag on it number two transportation you want to make sure that transporting your kayak from your truck your vehicle to the water is as easy and hassle-free as possible without dragging and tearing up that kayak okay transportation how are you taking your kayak from your vehicle to the water without dragging or damaging it. Now, I have a couple different carts that I use. I have used this one in the past. This is a relatively inexpensive cart. You can probably find it on Amazon or eBay for under 40 bucks, 30, 40 dollars. I've had this one for probably maybe about six, seven years. You can see I, I rinse it, keep it, keep it nice and rinse. Came with some nice tires. Your kayak just is just simply sits there. Your kayak sits on top. It's kayak straps that I like to use. You run these straps through your kayak. You run these straps through your cart, through here, through the hole of your cart. There's the scupper plug on your kayak, and you just fasten it on both sides. It's kind of how I use it. Another cart that I use is this Hobie cart. Uh, got a few miles on it but it is still in good shape this one is simply goes underneath your Hobie and goes into the scupper plugs like that and you can transport your kayak to the water pretty easy number three the gear and tools that you need in order to fish and land that fish successfully okay number three would be gear all the typical gear that are necessary for you to be successful in the water and be able to handle the fish from getting them out of the water and getting them in and also gear to help you help you fish certain areas now one of the things that I do use is I use an anchor trolley system now an anchor trolley system simply has a ring right here where you attach your anchor to like this and it allows you to pull your anchor 
pull your line from the front anywhere in the middle to the back of your kayak now I have always put these on my kayaks I put two put one on each side which would allow me to fish either on that side of the kayak or this side of the kayak and this is my go-to anchor I find this one more successful to hold me in place and easier to get out than the other typical style of kayak anchor other tools that are a must for me are lippers makes it easier when you're handling a fish this is one lipper that I one style lipper I like to use uh, typically I like to use typically I like to use this style of lipper when I am getting in the water and doing weight fishing from the kayak or even away from the kayak when I am weight fishing this is a nice this is my recent lipper that I just picked up I always like to make sure that I have the lipper strapped down in some way or fashion so I can get to it rod holders it's a tool that you're going to need my Hobie Outback has built-in rod holders so this rod holder isn't necessary for me but this is a Scotty mount I highly recommend these they're very durable I probably had this one for maybe about six seven years my cousin uses it on his, his kayak all the time it simply fits in your track system put your rod in there and then it's out of the way pliers now these pliers here I've had for probably around seven eight years uh, every once in a while we'll clean it up this is a really strong plier I like how the nose comes off of it like that helps with you trying to put any split rings or put anything in your split ring like a swivel but it also helps to hang on to that jig head or that hook and it's very it's very durable I mean this is like a tool this is like a tool that you keep in your toolbox keep it attached with a nice little rope for me this is a must-have I need my pliers to help me get that hook out especially if it if a fish does swallow the jig head or the hook you can easily get it out reason why I have a rope on it for one I don't drop it over the side of my kayak into the water and for two it makes it very easy to know where it's at another must have for me is how am I going to measure the fish how am I going to get the fish in and measure it I really like this measuring board very easy to fold and store keep out of your way paddles are always a must even if this is a drive system you always need your paddles and a net I like to take this short-handed float net has a little clip on it makes it very easy to land the fish instead of trying to drag it over the cross when I do take a stringer you know a stringer is also something you need to consider having with you because how you're going to keep the fish if you're keeping fish I prefer this tournament style stringer it's just easier for me to pop the fish on and off when I'm taking them taking them out of the water and into the ice chest and last but not least also I like to take with myself this fish bag I've done a review on this fish bag it is a very good fish bag it keeps your ice fairly for what it is it's soft shell keeps the ice fairly cool it keeps ice fairly good especially during these warmer times of the year but it's easy to stow the fish Just unzip it slide your fish in there so I prefer a fish bag over this over the stringer for the simple fact that you're going to drag it everywhere and I really don't want any predator fish or crabs picking on the fish and I just simply tie it down and put a couple pad eyes on here which I really really only needed one but I still put four down and I just strap it down like that with these little straps but that is the gear that to me is absolutely absolutely necessary for myself to be successful in the water number four is tackle it's always important that you get that tackle ready I like to get my stuff ready the night before know what I'm targeting know the area that I'm fishing in know what I'm fishing if I'm fishing with live or lures make sure I have all my tackle ready to go now the next thing for me is tackle what I'm taking my soft plastics hard plastics top water spoons considering the area that I am fishing the type of fish that I am targeting and what I need 
I always make sure I take a cork with me just in case if I need to change it up if I see a lot of mid to top water action and some fishing line and leader line I have been using this Seaguar red label lately and also this Mesa Chaz line highly invisible super strength line so I take me leader line extra leader line so I can retie and tie as I break off and hopefully I don't break off also like to use some of these if I can grab it here some of these quick swivels quick release it's not really not a swivel but a little quick release crimp to get my lures on and off these are must-have for me and I also like to take with myself some type of scent these are must-have for me out there on the water to make sure that I offer a fish the variety and the setup that I want in this case I was setting up to fish to surf so I had these two boxes with me in this case I was fishing trying to target some trout some specks typically I will get my gear together the night before so I will know where I'm fishing the area I'm fishing what's the water condition and so have you so I can compile that into some tackle boxes to make me successful number five storage storage is very important making sure you put the gear and the tool within arm's reach to help you land that fish successfully the next thing is storage where are you going to store your gear how are you storing it where are you putting it it's very important where are you storing your keys at do you have a small dry bag ziplock bag storage for your phone case storage for your lures now for me, I much prefer a waterproof tackle box versus a non-waterproof tackle box. Because as I fish with the lures, I can keep them separated, keep them one of the side trays, keep them in a pocket. And those are the only lures I need to rinse the salt water off versus a tackle tray that is not waterproof and you get everything wet and then you gotta rinse the contents of everything inside. Now if you're fishing with live bait, I typically, I don't have a pump, I don't have a live well on my kayak. I typically just use this little float bait here, attach it to the opposite side of my anchor trolley, a fish bag, whether it's for drinks, a cooler, or what have you. I can use this for multiple different things. Put some drinks in a uh, gallon size zip bag and throw it in there on the ice and leave it nice and cool. Throw my fish in there. They can be in the same storage area. So storage for me is key. Dry bags for me is key. If you don't have a dry hatch where you can store and keep a lot of stuff dry, then you might want to consider getting a larger dry bag such as this one this is a pack a backpack one i typically take with me when i'm rock fishing to the surf the jetties what have you keeps my camera gear nice and dry as well where are you going to store all this stuff you're going to store stuff in so i use a crate it has rod holders which holds my rods typically i like to take a couple of rods with me i made this crate myself stores all my stuff all my gear nice and neat in here also has a place for my anchor so store my anchor there you need to store your paddle somewhere so this this kayak came with a paddle holder but if you if your kayak doesn't have a paddle holder or it's not to your liking then there's always some DIYs that you can do to change that up well that's gonna do it for me I hope you find this information helpful and I hope it helps you and makes you successful on landing those fish and coming back safe to your family and friends don't forget, just get out there in the water. It doesn't matter what kind of kayak you're rolling in. Doesn't matter what kind of pliers or lippers you have. What matters is that you get out there on the water, land some fish, enjoy yourself, and come back safe to the ones you love. Don't forget, subscribe, comment, share. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.